we might have three trees. We're just waiting for John and Diane to get here. I'll stand by it and guard it. <laughs> maybe it's good we didn't take the first one. I think we've looked at like four, maybe. I mean, I did want to smell pine, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's plastic. <laughs> Ultimately finding what I think is one of the coolest trees we've ever had. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day one. <laughs> I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then later we're gonna go get our Christmas tree. We go to the same place every year, at least we have for the last like three years, and I think it's called like Ridge Top Trees or something. It's it's pretty close to where we live, but you get to walk out into uh, their like collection of trees and cut it down yourself and like bring it in. I'm pretty excited about doing that again this year. I will bring you along with me, but first we're gonna start with a shower. I'm clean. I'm about to eat this little burrito for breakfast. This is not my final form for the day. This is my I need to wear clothes after showering so that I can eat form. I think that we rescheduled plans to get the tree for like one. So we'll have time to eat lunch here and then we'll go and and meet John and Diane to, to get our tree. We might have three trees. I've tried like seven different ways to get the lighting in here to actually like not blind me, but then like actually show my face and it, there's just not a good way. So I think maybe we'll just, I don't even know, brave the sun. Found this hat. I was going to wear my typical yellow hat, but that just really did not go with this jacket. And then I came across this little like cowl scarf in my bin of warm things. So. I feel like this really rounds out the, the winter ensemble. Okay, now I'm gonna put this down because my eyes are just like blinded here. A little bit early. We're just waiting for John and Diane to get here. We've got our saw. Thomas is wielding it dangerously. Rah. 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 I'll stand by it and guard it. <laughs> it's got a, are there any holes? It's got such a nice shape. I mean, it just has some like, growth in it Cheap like a friend could be luck right away everybody else may pass this by thinking that they don't want to choose the first the one first so it one. might be safe if we want to keep looking there is also one i don't know if you see that one Ooh, this one looks really cute what do you think of this one cora this one i think might be a blue spruce so it won't have as much of a smell this is a pretty color. Yeah. Maybe it's good we didn't take the first one. It is cute. It's cute, but it is it's very skier-like. <laughs> it is. Whoa, that was fast. Wow, <laughs> it's already down. That was so efficient. Okay, we maybe found one. It looks really good, actually. Like, pretty full from this side. Here it is. Uh, it kind of seems like it might be a sneaky blue spruce, though. <laughs> yeah, like... No, it totally is, I think. Okay. Those little pine cones. <laughs> that poor tree looks like it's been through so much. It's like missing its middle. next best Christmas invention. <laughs> Just like a like tree a made for your cat, like a little table. Like they cut it, cut it down, at like stump halfway down. Maybe. maybe. Or maybe it had like two, two trunks. Branches. Yeah. That's so silly. It does look like modern art though. <laughs> wow. Wow, these needles are definitely different. Yeah. 
I can smell a little bit of it, I think. Yeah. I do like it though. I think we've looked at like four, maybe? Yeah. It's cute, for sure. And I think it also has like the softer needles. And it has some pine cones up in the top. Hmm. I think she thinks that she wants her own tree this year. Fuck with her. And then I thought she had a mom. Oh my gosh. She was like throwing it. Oh my gosh. I said leave it and she, she did she stopped and it ran away kill it but it was like a cat oh, oh my gosh dogs are so silly and gross <laughs> um, before you silly navigating to the tree on an adventure <laughs> I did want to smell pine, so... <laughs> Ready, gonna go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's so big! You got it. You're so strong. We found a tree! And it has pine cones, which is wonderful. Thanks for doing this with us. It's so fun. I love it. I honestly really do love that there's like contrast with like the the wood. It's so light colored and the needles are so deep green. It looks so cool. I, I don't think I've seen a pine tree that quite looks like this before. Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Not the tree we picked. This is a big friend though. It's I don't know so if I took it though, did I? It's recording. It's record. Okay. <laughs> I think it should still be. It was recording. Okay. <laughs> the driver driving. <laughs> They're the coolest driving by pine trees. We got the tree and it did not end up costing as much as we thought. <laughs> we thought it was like a really like specialty type tree that was maybe like $70, but it was 55, so that's a win. We need to rearrange our living room to fit a tree. So I have a vision in mind, probably gonna set up a little bit of a time lapse so then we can see the transformation, Windsor. So I think we are gonna move this couch over here, this chair over here, and then we'll probably have room like right here for for a dancing Thomas, um, but we'll also have room for the tree to go by the window. <sighs> we're trying to like, honestly, I think we're trying to amp ourselves up so we can move furniture. <laughs> dancing. Rearranging furniture. Okay, I think we've reached a point where things feel somewhat settled. Except for this little, this lonely lamp. We're not really sure where to put her. Changed out the table that is here, so we have a place to put our hats. We put our couch here in the corner. I think it just is really, really cozy here. I've had a thought that it would go here for a little while, honestly. But now this is kind of what our living room looks like. Set up a little bit differently. Windsor is making every plea he can because he really wants to play fetch. <laughs> Windsor is worried that the broom is going to take his toys. <laughs> he keeps like lunging at them to protect them. He's like, no, these are mine. <laughs> They're my special possessions. Hoping that we still have enough of the tree by the time Christmas comes around that Nimbus didn't eat it. 
What are you up to, Nimbus? Huh? If you don't stop eating pine needles, we're absolutely going to give you hairball gel. I don't really know how much I'm gonna film this afternoon. We walked around a lot in the cold, calibrating with my body. We're gonna eat a little bit of something. It's not really a meal time, but we're both pretty hungry. We're making some pizza rolls. I'm gonna sit here for a second, let my hips kind of stretch out. I thought that I would maybe just like show you a few things that um, exist in these quilting books that I have. I've really not done a lot of quilting, but... Oh, this is so cute. That's so cool. Ooh, this. This is what I want to try to make. I really want to make a quilted vest. And this one, like, I have a vest that I could probably base measurements off of. I'm literally so glad that we found this. We were about to give up because it was not by the other Legos, but we found it. I didn't know that Tangy appeared on an Animal Crossing thing. I, I like, I've seen these other ones, but I did not know that she appears on one. Now I just feel like I have to collect it because Tangy's on it. We came out at the perfect time. <laughs> we found what we needed and I think we're actually gonna maybe get Culver's because- I don't wanna cook. Don't wanna cook. Don't wanna cook and Culver's is wonderful. Here. And nearby, Two yeah, literally away. on the way home. So just wanted to appreciate this guy for a second before we go. We are set up at the table downstairs. We've got our culvers here. I went for a burger. We have some pretzel bites. Thomas went for uh, chicken tenders and like a concrete mixer. And we are gonna eat culvers and watch a few episodes of Steven Universe. I think we're probably gonna decorate our trees a different day. We're both pretty tapped on energy. <laughs> I was like falling asleep on the couch. It's only 6.30, so it's definitely not time to fall asleep. Let's open this up and set it up. I've got a little spot here in the den that I can have it, so I'll see it every day. Okay. Whoa. All right. I think this might be Moana. The hair's a little bit crooked. And then this is like a little cake. So uh, I guess we'll see what we acquire over the course of the month. I just pulled out all of the advent calendars. So we have the Lego one. Then we have this puzzle one that I started last year but didn't finish. So we're going to do that this one. We're going to do this one this year. We have both a dog and a cat advent calendar. We're going to open this one and Windsor's going to have his first advent treat of the year. Are you excited? Day one is right here. Should we open it? Oh boy, I'm excited for these. Paw? Yes. Other paw? Yes. Cute. Spin? Yes. Good boy. Nimbus did have this advent calendar last year. He's in here, actually. We have to find number one. Whoa, do you remember these? So this is um, salmon and dried seaweed. And Nimbus just goes crazy for these treats. He has to take it away. They're so cute because they're shaped like fish. <laughs> Can I break it up for you? It's there. Nim, that's pasta. <laughs> Just give me a second, okay? Good boy, Nim. Hello. He loves Christmas trees. Yes, you do. Except for the puzzle, that's all the advent calendars done. And I think that Nimbus and Windsor thoroughly enjoyed their treats today. Hey, hey, excuse me. No chomping the tree, please. Um, that's gonna be the entire rest of the month, me telling him not to chomp the trees. So I have my random question generator. <laughs> so I just went through three questions, but the same question came up twice. What's your earliest memory? Um, 
I think like my earliest memory that just like feels like I remember it because it happened and not because someone explained it to me. Most of the memories that I have a recollection of from you know, like a young age, it's like a whole story, right? Because it was an experience. People remembered it so they could tell me. But the thing that I remember that's like seared into my memory, we're like sitting around a campfire and it was like one of my first experiences, I suppose, with like embers flying off of a fire because there was one that kind of like flew off and landed on like the arm of my like lawn chair. And maybe I remember this memory because then there was a reminder of like this little singed hole in like the arm of the lawn chair. It was like a built-in reminder of like, oh, what happened to your chair? Ah, I remember. It was burned by an ember flying from a fire. Yeah, it's interesting how certain things stick with us. I think I knew that that was like one of the first memories that I remembered because I don't really think that that would remain significant to like a parent or a guardian or like an older like friend or cousin to, to tell me that happened because it's just a mundane thing. But I think that's what rings a bell to me as like one of my earliest memories. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for joining for the day. We did so many things. <laughs> Rearranging the living room, freezing our little phalanges off when we're looking for a tree, ultimately finding what I think is one of the coolest trees we've ever had. For right now though, I need to go make sure that Nimbus is not chewing any wires because he just climbed behind the computer. Let me know down in the comments below what is your earliest memory i am gonna end this here and rush nimbus out of this room because he's just wreaking havoc have a good night happy december love you so much and i will see you again tomorrow